All right, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is Mike, and today I'm gonna give you a review of the Toki uh, Chinook. I had someone ask me to do a review on this bow uh, on my last video that I did uh, when I, about the Whistler. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the review about the Toki Chinook. This is uh, Dan Toki's, uh, one of Dan Toki's recurve versions. Um, montanabows.com is where you can buy these this is probably my favorite bow I've ever owned now it's light it's fast it's quiet it's smooth it's accurate this one he made with the black micarta riser with myrtle myrtle overlays look at that and also he did myrtle uh, limb veneers I'm not sure if Dan made this or his helpers. Whichever one did it, thank you so much. Or if it was a team effort, look at that. I should take my arrows off here. Hold on. Let me see, I got my some broadhead. Look at this. That's just a beautiful bow. Oh, I've been shooting it. I got some dirt on it. Look at that thumb. Okay. This one is a. Uh, this is a Chinook 60 inches, and it's a 52 pounds at 28. It's Apache style, it's, um, so I shoot three under, which was Apache. So here I'm gonna show you the limb veneers now. This Myrtle. Look at that, just beautiful. Myrtle. Here's the tips. Here's the tips. Yeah, come on. I love this bow. I've had other recurves. I don't want to say their names because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. The other recurves were awesome too, but this Chinook is my favorite bow. It just is because it's so light and fast. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you some pictures of it, video of it at draw, full draw. Okay, Let's see if I can see this. Okay. Here we go. Here's full draw sideward. Okay. Do a little diagonal version. A little straight at the camera. There's no finger pinch whatsoever. And uh, this bow is dead in the hand, man. And it's fast and it's quiet. I'm gonna shoot it here at this 20 yard target. And uh, I'm gonna shoot to the left of the middle because the middle is so worn out, my arrows all go through it. So I'm gonna shoot for this little white dot over here on the left side. And I haven't shot today. This is my first shot, so don't judge. All right, here we go so you can hear it. All right, can you see? Alright, let's see what I think. Shot one. Do a couple more so you can hear it. There we go. It's more like that. Right Kind of on the incline, I'm a little bit off balance. Before you can see, the thing is accurate. If you're accurate, the bow's accurate. Just a couple more. Like I said, I haven't warmed up or anything. Came out here to do the review. Ooh, that one was off. One more. You can hear it's just. Fast. Okay, let's go see what it looks like. like. I said I tried to figure out how to turn this thing. You like my shirt? Look at this, dope autism dad. It's because one of my sons has autism, and uh, he's awesome. So is my other son Julian. He's awesome too. But all right, here we go. They don't—they're not archers yet. 
maybe someday. There we go. So you can see here at 20. I was shooting for this little white thing right here. That little green or whatever that color is. So anyways, uh, Toki with, or Toki uh, Chinook. Look at it, that's a bad bow, y'all. It's quiet, it's beautiful. Once again, the yeah, craftsmanship is excellent. It's not a very sunny day here in South Texas, down by Galveston, but look at that tip overlay. Huh? Let's see if I can give you better. Look at that. That's the myrtle. Okay, oh, and here's the arrow shelf looks like. Cut the center, look at it. Maybe a little past center, I don't know. Anyway, if you're looking for a recurve, man, I would definitely consider the Tolkien Chinook. It's a bad bow, man. I hope to kill some animals with this someday. Uh, anyways, I pray that y'all have a blessed day. I hope this helps you and maybe making a decision on a bow you want. And I just pray that the Lord keeps you and blesses you and your families. And a happy new year. I'm turning 40 in a couple days. So y'all have a happy new year. Later.